when I first came here was when I was five years old and this pitch was, at the time, I thought it was like Wembley. It's different when you become a manager because you, you're invested in the people as well and you want to help them and you want them to get the best out of everything. The best season ever. It's a cracking season. I've never known it so good. I'm so happy to be part of a team where we really feel like we're going places. It is an amazing feeling. It's a, it's a real good buzz. You know, whatever happens, uh, we're only going forward. This club is only going in one direction. It takes up all your mind and you know you look at the league table 15 times a day probably just hoping that it changes some freak of uh, freak of nature through the day so yeah, it's really tough but I've said to the boys we have to let we have to let us play the games and, and not let the league table dictate the games um, but it's it's difficult but that's exciting that's you want to be at the top we have to enjoy it have to enjoy the pressure um, a lot of the boys will be the first time they've been in this position um, it's the first time I've been in this position as a manager, so it's, it's, it's new to us all. So, but we just have to enjoy it, we have to enjoy being in this position because there's nothing worse at this time of the season than being mid-table and having absolutely nothing to play for and ticking games off until the summer holidays. That's the worst feeling. Um, so to be in this position is a privilege um, and we have to enjoy that privilege. It comes with pressure, but pressure is a privilege. Pressure says to you that you're, you're in something that's important. games all day um, could be a worse combination of, of you know um, but a very hard pitch you know a real bumpy pitch and, and that's you know that's not Billy's fault two weeks ago it was like you know it's wet and soft and it's it's gone hard because the weather and then the wind which was so much stronger than we anticipated today and uh, that combined meant the game lacked a bit of quality at times um, but it, it wasn't on anyone's fault it was just really really tricky <laughs> Had, uh, even in the, the, before we came up this league with Elston, we've uh, had many local derbies with Elston. It's always been that battle of uh, across the bays, Mounts Bay, the big bay down there, and we're on the west of the bay, and Elston, of course, are on the east, so there's all, always been a, a, a big uh, sort of battle of the bays. Uh, it mean, means a great deal to us. Um, of course, we're, uh, we're pushing or we're, we're fortunate enough to be in the top three of the league now and in today especially, extra important. Um, and I believe if we, if we were fortunate to come through today, we, uh, we, we should go, I think, second in the league. Yeah. Hoping for a win, obviously. I'm really desperate for a win, as, as, we, are, as we all are, definitely. And as Brian said, if we do win, we'll go second, which is for our little club. When you think we've only just gone into this league 
I think it's amazing where we are anyway. Intensity is a must, okay? Intensity is a must, but the biggest thing today, and we say it often, and I say it often, but I really mean it today, I want you to go and enjoy yourselves. I want you to go and enjoy yourselves. I don't think Saturday was enjoyable, and I was just glad it was over by the end of it, because I felt so bad. I want you to go and enjoy tonight. I want you to get on the ball. I want you to make magic happen. I want you to go and show people you're the best number eight around. I want you to boss the game like you always do, and people will go, still doing it. And then my back four, I want to get clean sheet. And everyone to go again, is there a better five back there? No, solid, win headers, play. I want you to do that. And then when we get in the final third, I want little bits of magic. Good luck, enjoy yourselves, let's go for it. <laughs> It was ugly, um, very little quality, very little passes strung together, um, and, and I take responsibility for that. You know, we, we had a message at half time, and I don't think the message was perhaps right. And, and we just we looked, we ran out of ideas a little bit second half. You know, we had a good spell for sort of last 10 15 where we could have nicked something, but they, they just, you know, they had chances as well. So I'm frustrated because you know, I thought I thought tonight we'd go and put on a show, and we didn't, we weren't good enough. Um, and, and, and I, you know, and I take the coaches. You know, we we take that on board as well. We weren't good enough. The messaging was wrong, um, and we didn't we didn't do what we normally do. We ended up playing a game that suits Helston, um, and 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 as a result, I think it was, it was a fair result, really. week's been really difficult because of the, the two games we've had and there's been tension and, and I'm not going to pretend that I wasn't nervous and you know I'm lucky enough to, to have a very busy life outside of football um, and I think if I didn't have that then it would be all consuming. Um, I've got a great family and, uh, and, a, and a brilliant job which I love which, which keeps me really busy but it's always on my mind, I'm always thinking, I'm always trying to find ways or think of ways that we can be better as a, as a team, as a club, as a, as a manager. Um, so it's it's all consuming, um, you know, and, and actually the worst times are in the evenings. Um, I'm at home. Um, you just think about so many things, and I think I'm I probably I probably an annoyance to the rest of the staff because I'm always putting things in the WhatsApp group, and um, I'm pretty relentless with it, and and that's just the way I live, and and I've always been like that with everything I've done.
two two sides to today, and it was nice to get a tick in both boxes. Um, you know, we've, some of the some of the football today was really really sharp, really good against a very organised bit inside. You know, very different from the side we played before. Real real sort of structure and a plan about them, um, and they were tough today. No, it's a nice feeling today um, after sort of two slightly flat feelings at the end of the last two games when we felt like we could have got something or should have been better and got something more from the game. How important was that win today in the overall context at the end of the season? Uh, yeah, important. They're all they're they're all important and. Um, but yeah, we have to win games now. There's no escaping that. We have to keep 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 ticking them off and winning. We've got Keensham here on Tuesday. We have to win that one as well. And then we'll go to Wellington next Saturday. And we just keep keep ticking them off, keep winning, and then just you know see see where that takes us. Um, I, I'm confident if we play like that, especially second half, then we'll be really tough to beat in those five games because we've brought a bit of a steeliness. The goal we can see is frustrating, but we've got a steeliness about us defensively at the minute. Um, it's just adding that edge with goals as well. And we did that today and looked a real threat. Um, with the, with, the, with the players we had on the pitch. Um, we've got players in higher, further forward positions today. Um, and it really showed second half. I felt like we, we should have added more to the tally, but it's pleasing to see that, that those opportunities were created today. It's been a great season, um, uh, progressing from the Peninsula League last year into the Western League. We uh, definitely want to make our mark and I think we've achieved this um, pushing for the title. I mean, it's been a long season, um, especially at my age. Um, but like I said, I've been injury free and I've uh, played a lot of games and I've uh, really enjoyed it. Um, I think for the club, it's been excellent and maybe surpassed what we imagined, but also at the same time knew what we were capable of. Um, for me individually, as, as any players, it always has its ups and downs. I've had injuries. I'm one of the more senior members in the squad, so it takes a little bit of while. And because the standards are so high, I, I haven't played maybe as much as I wanted to, but the results have been the way they are. So it's, it's for the best of the team. So it's all about that end goal of promotion, which yeah, is hopefully where we're at. Bit, well, I suppose excited, a bit nervous. Um, it's quite exciting, and that obviously only being in the league for one year, and and we can uh, like possibly get promoted. So I think that would be that would be a really exciting thing to look forward to next season if we could. And like personally, I've never really been in a, in anywhere close to coming uh, getting promoted in any of the teams I've played for. So um, it's it's new kind of experience for me, and I, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, it's it's, it's just definitely been a step up. Um, but it's definitely a step that I feel like I've really relished and it's, it's somewhere in my head that I felt like I, I belonged and yeah, it's, 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 it's very positive moving forward. Um, yeah, and I just keep want to keep going up and up with, with Mausel. It's been good, we've obviously done quite well. We've obviously coped quite well with the step up in the league. Um, for me personally, obviously being injured for a long, long time to so miss a lot of football, so makes the last, last four games even more exciting for me, which is good. Four games left, just want to win the rest of them. We've come come so far this season, so it be nice to finish, finish like we've started. Are you excited? I am excited. Four games, we've got what, four points off Tavi. All we need to do is win the rest. Right, well today, on a beautiful sunny day, we're a short way at the M5 at Wellington in South Somerset. This is our second to last away game, and including today we've got four games left to play this season. We are currently in second place in the league. There's a lot of uncertainty at the moment because we don't know what's going to happen about the game against Canesham that was due to be played last Tuesday. and. Uh, you know, over the next three weeks, it'll become quite clear uh, what our 
uh, future is, whether we stay in this division for next season or whether we're knocking on the door of promotion to the Southern League. So exciting times. Never, ever been as angry as I am right now. That was exactly, exactly what you would happen when we sit out there and we all go, oh, aren't we good? No intensity, no one taking the lead. And all it needed second off was some characters to go, we're in trouble here, boys. We ain't playing very well. So we'll bank up, we'll make it hard. We'll try and pass again. We didn't string three passes together. Not three passes. The goals are minging. They're horrible. We look tired. We look lethargic. It is I, football, boys. It's about your mentality, I, and, and and we cannot we cannot do any more because winners just go and go right. We'll make it happen here. We'll just get over the line. We'll find a way to get over the line. And if it needs to be up here, it needs to be graft, and it will be. But second half, we didn't do anything that we do. We didn't do anything we do. They looked so much better than us. We allowed it to happen. And, and listen, it doesn't change. I said it before the game. It doesn't change how we feel about you as a group, okay? But we can have all the talent in the world. And I love you, boys. I honestly do. There is not a single person here. Oh, I can't wait to go and have a beer with uh, them. Listen, we've got three games to go, right? Three games to go. Let's go and win all three and see what happens, right? But what we all have to do, we all have to do, is we have to bring a sense that it is down to me. And now we have to sit on the bus for three hours thinking about it. Thinking about it. It's, it's a devastating blow, okay? But it happens in seasons. It happens now. It really hurts, okay? So we need to pick ourselves up. Okay, we need to watch the game, every single one of you, and I'll see, watch that second half, because you will see it. And I don't want anyone to go, oh yeah, I'll see him, because he wasn't very good. I'll see him. Listen, all of us, us included, not good enough. So get out there, do your cool down, okay? We need to make sure we've got bodies ready to go. We've got two big games next week. If we go and win them, we get the three points from Keensham, let's see where it takes us. Okay, go and get stretched. Don't do what you need to do. Don't sulk. Get it done. We got three hard games. That's not be around the bush, three very hard games. The end of the season, you think? 
and I think if we win them, we will make the Southern League, and that's, well, I'm pretty sure that's where all, you, all of you want to be. Just have a think how much it means to you, and then we go again on Friday with that in the back of our mind. Right, boys, we'll, um, we'll get started. Um, I know you've all got more exciting things to do, so we'll get cracking. Goldie, I can hear your phone resting up against the glass bottle, by the way. Mate, you, look what it's got. <laughs> I can hear it clinking. I think I knew it was glass. Just left uh, Ludgren versus Mosel. Are you supposed to be on this call whilst you're driving, Fletch? Uh, oh. I've been scouting, mate, I'm afraid. Uh, you know, can't. Football never stops. Just been watching Mosel versus Ludgren. It's not answered my question. I can't wait for Friday. Saturday hurt, but I'm already excited for Friday. I totally believe we as a staff absolutely believe in this group. Um, you wouldn't be in the position you're in if, if you didn't have something very, very special because you've got so many things in your way. Travel. In um, training twice a week. I know it's tough and we do so much, but just go and leave everything out there. All right. Go and leave everything out there on Friday and on Monday. And if it's not enough, it's not enough, but at least we can say we couldn't do any more. Just between now and Friday, just look after yourselves. Chat with me, chat with Andy, Fletch, Greeners, whoever it may be. And let's just make sure that when we look back at these last three games, we can say we couldn't do any more because you couldn't have done any more so far. We've, got, we've all got nervous. We've all got twitchy. That's normal. But I know if we, do, if, if we do what we do, we'll be absolutely fine and we can look back and go, we couldn't do any more. All right, boys. So, listen, thanks for your time. Go and watch the Champions League. Rest up. Love to a lot of you. All right, sorry for being grumpy on Saturday, but it's only because I care and because I believe in you boys massively. All right, but, um, yeah, I can't wait for Friday. So, rest up, boys. See you Friday. Thanks for coming, boys. To be perfectly honest, I've, I, I don't know the, the leagues down here. Um, and uh, I thought maybe we'd finish mid table, probably. Um, that'd be good. Um, but we've been magnificent, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, the boys have been superb, coaching staff, the volunteers, everybody behind the club has just raised their game. And it's, yeah, it's been unbelievable, to be honest. One is for my table and two is Some wonderful positions. We've dropped some points that you know you look back and you think, oh, I think the first game of the season where we conceded in the last minute, and we've dropped two points. And those two points now would be you know the ones, uh, and it should, we shouldn't have dropped them to be honest. Um, you know that's the fine margins we're at. But 
you know, we would all have taken us at the start of the season. But yeah, I think I think I'll be disappointed because, because to be honest, we have been one of the best teams in the league. It's what we do it for. That's brilliant. It's a complete performance for us. Not just the pretty stuff as well. Jake, um, when we last spoke, angry was one of the main words you used. What were you used today? Pride, uh, without a doubt. Genuinely, you know that that's just pride. I, I felt so proud of the group, the team. Proper, proper performance that from the first. Well, no, actually from the second minute they battered us for a minute. We couldn't get out. Um, but other than that. I don't think that Ollie's had much to do, really. You know, um, you know, we know what to expect. We know the dangers and threats in terms of um, the balls into the box, but we dealt with it brilliantly. And yeah, it's just pride because we were all flat last week, um, and we felt that when we played Helston up at their place, we were poor, really poor. It was a terrible game from our point of view. Nothing to do with Helston. It was our fault. You know, we didn't pass the ball. We weren't brave enough, um, and that was a total flip. That's all I asked them to do today was be brave, get on the ball and pass it, and they did it from the first minute or the second minute. <laughs> to the 90th minute um, and couldn't be more pleased for them because they thoroughly, thoroughly deserve that three points because they stuck to what we believe in. They stuck to the way we play. And I, I loved that. I mean, yeah, I was nervous, <laughs> but I loved watching that. It was an absolute pleasure.
came to the club in um, about, not, I think it was late 70s, 78. And um, I just played locally for another team and used to play Mousel and have a lot of banter, you know, with some of the old characters in the team. And they, um, eventually I just sort of, uh, I, I liked the banter and I liked some of the lads like Kenny and Jimmy Richards and that, and uh, just ended up coming over here. And uh, it was a bit of a shock when I arrived here because I played in goal and they had about six goalkeepers and they only had three teams. So I thought, because when you're a goalie, you can obviously only play one position. I thought I'm never going to, might not get a game even, but I found myself in the third team and, and progressed, you know, up into the first team. And, uh, and uh, you know, it was like great, great little community club. Um, I had a great cr cricket club as well, which they still have. And, um, you know, it was uh, great to be a part of it. Well, I've been down here 40, living in the village, 46 years. So um, we grew up, no cars in the village, played on the streets, played football, played up here. So Saturdays from five or six years old, joined the youth teams, um, played right the way through, a little bit into senior football. But the change is just unbelievable. It's, uh, it is, it's ridiculous, you know. If you were to say back then, small dugouts, you know, a few few people watching, you know, uh, to what it is now, it's, it is literally like a dream, you know, how the team done, the team have done, the staff, backroom staff, the volunteers, none of this would have been acceptable and done without the volunteers, you know, who do an amazing job, certainly in the background and off the pitch as well. It's, it's unbelievable. When I first came here was when I was five years old. So um, we used to play on the campsite as kids and this pitch was at the time when I was five years old, I thought it was like Wembley, um, but then moved away, went away for various things and to different football clubs and um, came back from Ludgevin, who I was with doing the same sort of thing as I'm doing now for I think six years with a load of my friends. Um, came back and it was a big step up from that, as in the quality of the, the ground and the ambition. Um, but it was still, I mean, four years ago, it was still miles off what it is today. The, the ground, the club, the playing staff. I think there's probably one player that was here and Andy Graham from when I first got here four years ago. So it's changed a lot. Cracking season, I've never known it so good. So long it may it continue. The people are working voluntary for the club, they're putting in 25, 30, 40 hours some weeks. You see everybody helping and volunteering, um, just so much passion about around the place and uh, genuine friendship between people in the club and uh, you know at the end of the day they all give up their time to do this and it, and, and, and it's tremendous tremendous feeling to be involved with it all the boys we've got have been absolutely fantastic um done thousands of miles of traveling never complaining just walked in there with a smile on their face said they've been absolutely brilliant and we couldn't have asked for any more from them Oh, it's been great. I mean, obviously it was a bit of a step up at the start and um, I think we found it um, a bit tough in the first few weeks, but gradually built our way into it and, um, and yeah, we've re really, really enjoyed it. And I think we've excelled over the last few weeks and um, still pushing right at the end of the season, which is all you can ask for, really. How are you feeling today about this final home game? It, can't wait. Look at it. it. The ground, everything amazing today. Sun's out, um, big game, should be a good crowd. So, yeah, can't wait. Looking forward to it. Just excited, really. So, um, I think after Friday, we were we were so good. Friday, you just look forward to the next game. I'm sure, the boys are. Um, so yeah, it's just it's such a cliche. And I watch managers on the telly, and I hate it when they say it. But it's just one one game at a time, you know. Friday was brilliant, but if we don't get anything today, it's pointless. So 
um, now we just have to be on it again today. But no, excited. I think I'm more relaxed than I would have been if we held on at Wellington. I think that the draw at Wellington, you know, throwing away a two-goal lead, uh, I mean, they were very good in the second half. So, yes, we threw it away, but they battered us as well. Um, but I think that's actually calmed my nerves because we're not in the driving seat anymore. If we would have won then, these games would be even bigger than they are. I mean, they're massive. You know, today, Friday, next Saturday, that we've got to win them all. But we know as well that if we win them all in Exmouth and Tavistock do the same, it's out of our hands. So I think I'm a lot more relaxed than I thought I would be. Showed great heart second half and, and to keep going and I think if we had another five minutes I think we'd go and get the winner. Um, but you know Ashton are a really good side, they're really dangerous and they you know they they deserve to stay up because they're a good side and they've taken four points off us now. Um, um, but yeah I'm, I'm just bitterly disappointed um, because the boys didn't deserve that you know it wasn't great first half but it was unbelievable spirit and together in a second half and it was relentless you know but we are always a threat on the break but I just felt like we were going to score goals and we got the two and if we just had a bit longer we would have got another one but yeah it's just really disappointing I, I'm like I say we move on uh, we're still in the mix you know the results will still kind of change and what have you so we just have to go again uh, this week the boys look tired it's a hard schedule Friday Monday and you know boys are great on Friday so um, yeah, still standing, but it's 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 unlikely now, isn't it? But you know, I said to the I said to the guys, got a lot to be proud of this year, an awful lot, and you know, we've we've desperate for it to go to the last game, and you know, it might might still do, but um, yeah, it's it's I'm gutted because I don't mind losing and I don't mind dropping points if it's deserved, um, but I just feel like the factors against us today and frustrating. been lots of ups and downs it's been very exciting I think the, the, the competitiveness of the league has just been it's exceeded what I expected uh, and just every game has been emotional I think that's the difference you know there's been two games where it's been comfortable every other game has been stressful to a certain degree emotional when we score it's, it's been great it's been brilliant I've thoroughly enjoyed this season, as I have 
every season with the Seagulls that I've been involved with for quite a few years now. But these group of players, um, coaches, obviously manager, quite exceptional. Coming up to this level, traveling all these distances with these well-established, playing against these well-established clubs at higher level. And we've rose to that occasion. Just missed the top. There's always next season. It's been absolutely brilliant. It means giving up a lot of time, but that's what you do at this level to uh, enjoy the experience and help make the club progress. Uh, we've met some extraordinary people in the established Western League clubs who've uh, welcomed us with open arms from the far depths of Cornwall. So it's been quite a journey in more ways than one. If you'd have offered us third place at the start of the season, we'd have been we'd have been absolutely chuffed with that, especially five or six games in um, when we were still adjusting to the league. Obviously, being in the hunt for the league and for promotion, it's it's obviously a bit disappointing towards the end to to fall away a little bit. But you know, it's been a, a great first season in this league, and we should be we should be proud, and we should go and put on a show today and, and make sure we put in a big performance on the last day. Well, boy. I think we'll look back after the disappointment of, of the last sort of month, we'll look back and think it's been hugely successful. Uh, coming third in the first season in the Western League, brilliant achievement looking back at it. Uh, and I think a lot of the younger lads will learn a hell of a lot from this season and take that into next season. So I think overall, overall it has been a success, um, but at the moment it's still raw because we have, we've slipped up. Uh, we've slipped up in the last sort of four or five weeks so yeah when that the rawness of that goes of us not getting promotion um i think we will look back in maybe weeks months and be happy with what we've achieved and go again next season 35 games right 35 games six thousand miles but it's been an unbelievable journey all right we didn't know this time last year, in our minds, this time last year, we were playing doubles away. We were playing Wendron away again, right? We were still in that Peninsula League. We hadn't had any word of where we would be this season. To think of the journey that we have been on in the last 12 months makes me full of pride, okay? Full of pride. And at some points in your life, you have to take stock, and you as a group, and every single one in here, you need to give yourself a pat on the back. Because if you remember that feeling, the boys that were here, and I know Cows and Fjords weren't here at the time, that feeling when we sat down after that Ilfracombe away game, right, and we were 17th in the league table, we were in a bad place. I know with COVID or whatever, whatever it was, but we were struggling, right? And the season could have gone at that point in one or two directions. We could have ended up finishing probably mid-table, or we could have gone on an unbelievable run. Now, what it needed, for us to go on an unbelievable run is an unbelievable group of players. Now, I have felt the same as you boys have this week. It's like someone's popped me the pin and I could do with it, but it, I've felt flat, okay? Because we have been so close the whole time. Now, that opportunity has kind of gone, okay? But that's through no fault of us as a unit, as us as a group, as us as a club. We are a young group, we are learning. I am learning. I've never gone through it as a manager. Player, yeah, manager, totally different, not done it. But that reaction from where we were, 12 months ago, not knowing what league we were in, seven months ago down at the Coup, to get to where we are now, to be here, going into this last game, three points behind the league leaders, says everything about you as a group. And I am proud of you. I'm proud to be part of this club. I'm proud to be associated with you boys. I thank you for everything you've given.
feel really proud of what we've achieved. Um, we are not far away. I've just said that to the boys. We're not far away. You've got two teams above, finished above us who are very savvy and, and have been in this league a long time and just known how to just to get over the line. We're a young group and they're not quite there yet. Um, we will have players over the summer that will help with that. But it's just little bits, little margins um, that will make the difference. And I, I've told them that we will do everything over the summer and then with them next year just to go one better or two better next year because that's the goal. Um, that's what the club want. That's what I want. That's what the players want. Um, but I'm really proud. I'm really proud. We've had so many obstacles in our way this year. Um, we're not moaned about them. Just got on with it. And, uh, and we finished in a, a fantastic league position. We, we want to be higher. Um, I want us to be higher. But um, no, I'm really proud of the group. I'm really proud of the club. Um, we'll have a great time on the bus on the way back now. We'll make sure of that. It is a hobby, but it, it means a lot. It takes over a lot of my time. It takes a lot of my headspace up. I'd like to say it's a release from other stuff, but it's probably the cause of most of my stress, if I'm honest. Um, but, you know, most of my friendships are within football now. Um, you know, my, my house is two minutes away from the ground, so it's a big part of my life now. It's a, well, a massive part. I think it's probably different when you're a manager. I think when you're a player, they're your, they're your mates. Um, and you, and you view them in different ways. And I think when you become a manager, and I'm, I'm sad to admit this, they become different, they become like your kids. And it's a sense of pride and um, emotion. You know, I think about some of the boys, I get quite emotional about them because they mean the world to me because they do so much. You ask a lot of them, you, you, you want them to do a lot of things for you and the football club, and you, and you end up just, you end up feeling, yeah, pride for them. And that's different from when you're a player. When you're a player, you, you, you're all together. You, you're trying to achieve the same thing as, a, as, a, as mates. Um, but it's different when you become a manager because you, you're invested in the people as well. And you want to help them and you want them to get the best out of everything. So it's a really different feeling. And I never really, um, I never really kind of realised that when I came into management that it would feel that way. Um, but in terms of as a group of boys, they are incredible uh, they're, they're, I'm immensely proud of them all and I love them all I think they are they bring so much to this place because it's in it's at the end of the world now it's a million miles from anywhere so for them just to be here says a lot about them as personalities because it, they're not here because we're making them rich I'll tell you that much they're here because they buy into the football club the management staff as a group the the way that the club run um, and so for me them doing that makes me even prouder of them and makes me want to achieve even more for them um, as a group. So, no, I'm, I'm immensely proud of them. I, they're brilliant. I, I love seeing them every Tuesday, every Thursday. Um, whatever the result is, at the end of a Saturday, I still go away and, and I'm still proud of them. Like the last day of school. Well, here we go, back where we started. We've gone full circle, end one season, and we start another. Get it ready for next year for the boys. Hopefully they come back and do their stuff on it again, which would be brilliant. Can't wait. That's the end of another season. Bill, you're there. Other than that, right, so this row stood up, the keepers are going to be in the middle, and these boys, probably the shorter boys, Paolo, Charlie, Calvert, Simo, from the back row, stood on the chest. Three keepers, you're in the middle, middle row, stood up. Maxi, oh, middle row, Goldie, middle row. I've seen the kick. <laughs> 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 I'm <laughs> <laughs>